Next into the tank is a modern reinvention of the wheel. Hello, Sharks. My name is Michael Bertov. My name is Dakota Decker. Our company is GeoOrbital. We're from Cambridge, Massachusetts. We're seeking $500,000 for 5% of our company. Sharks, we give you the bicycle. Effectively unchanged for over 100 years. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe I watch too much science fiction, but I want to take the bicycle and introduce it into the 21st century. The geo-orbital wheel is a step into the future. We made a way to turn almost any bicycle electric in under 60 seconds with no tools. So what you see here is a 100% normal bike, exactly as you would buy from a store, completely unmodified. All you do is take off your regular front wheel, put on the geo-orbital wheel, clip on the throttle, and you're good to go. It takes under 60 seconds to install and no tools. Wow. Now what you see here is a powerful electric bike. The uh, motor will take you about zero to 20 miles an hour in under 10 seconds. You can travel up to 20 miles on a single charge without even pedaling. If you're going up a hill, no sweat. You've got 500 watts of power available at the press of a lever. So can I try it? Absolutely. You can, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. Here, let me, I've got another one for you guys, too. Okay, yep, let me so grab a helmet for what you do I need to know? So it's literally exactly like you would ride any bicycle. The pedals and brakes work exactly the same. Yeah. The only difference here, is this Somebody else here. want to try it? Never wear a helmet on television. <laughs> that's just, that's a blackmail photo for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, that is very cool. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I'm gonna catch oh. Kevin, is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Ooh. look at that. Like riding a bike. Yeah. Blind chasing the blind. You gotta pedal backwards gotta pedal on backwards. that one. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah. Anybody else wanna try it? It's yeah. fun, it's like magic. Are you a Kickstarter and Indiegogo? We only launched the company about four months ago. Uh, we raised 1.26 million on Kickstarter. Wow. Um, and after that, we've been, we've had a little over 200,000 on our website directly through residual media and are you and shipping like that. or still prototype? We're going to be shipping in like two months? Two months. First year. I don't think we know the price. No, we don't. Do we ever Skipped hear the price? One, no. <laughs> what is the price? It'll retail for 950. Uh, right 950 now. 950 for the wheel. For the wheel. For the wheel correct. Uh, Isn't it cheaper to buy an electric bike? It depends on the bike. Like you can get an electric bike for under 950. You can get an electric bike for almost 500 dollars, but it's the quality of electric bike here. that you're getting. These we are, haven't seen that a problem with our with our pre-order customers. Is the market opportunity for this just the bikes that are out there today that don't have electric yet? We feel it's there's a hurdle to biking for people. If I get anxious, if I get on a bike, regular bike, I'll get tired. I'm anxious about going up hills. I'm anxious about getting sweating on my way to work. Right? You don't have to sell us on the promise of electric bikes. I own a couple of them. We're going in a direction where all bikes that are shipped ultimately are going to have an electric option in them. Would you ever make a bike? That's what I'm trying to ask you. Uh, I, want to, I want to show you something real fast. We, we don't make any bikes currently. We made something different. <laughs> that is um, a cool bike. I love the banana seat. What do you got This is here? how it works. You just sit on it and it's the same thing. It looks, it looks. I love that bike. It's very tight you turning. Nice tight turning There radius. is nothing, you cannot do anything like this with any other technology. So, this is also something we sell, and this is a full electric bike. That's it's extremely cool bike. nimble, it's extremely small. You put it in the trunk of your car. You say well, you're selling bike, them for $950. This is $200 in addition to the one. Where are you prioritizing your time? On the new bike or that wheel? Oh, the bike oh. was a side note. The bike is for fun. To be honest, that was the opposite of the answer I wanted to hear. This is gonna be as fast as uh, last season's Dallas Mavericks playoff highlight reel. I believe Can that- Can I just say, that highlight reel you have- Oh wait, you don't have a team. You don't have any highlights of anything, do you? <laughs> oh my god. That's literally your only comeback? <laughs> my god. Is that how we run a basketball team? Oh, that was a zinger. I, be I believe in the space. Electric bikes are here to stay. There's no doubt about it. I just really like to invest in the thing that's forward looking, not the thing that's retrofitted to the existing technology. If you had told me you were moving on this bike that I think, it, as goofy as it looks right now, is really innovative, that would have gotten me more excited. I think there is a good short-term opportunity in retrofitting existing bikes, but I want to be betting on the long-term electric native bikes, so for that reason, I'm out. Retrofitting current to make it future is the future. We're making electric vehicles out of stuff that's collecting dust in your basement. This is the future. 
One of the biggest challenges, having been in multiple bike companies, is sales and distribution. Right? Inevitably, there's an initial jump online. You, know, you get that initial surge that you're going through right now, but it's just such a competitive environment. It is just so hard to compete to sell bikes against the big box retailers, the small shops, and all the different alternatives. It's just not a, a business I want to be in, so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. But let me also add, as far as how we grow, right? So we're direct to consumer now. Uh, in the next two years, we want to do a lot more fleet. Delivery, services, police. Uh, so does everybody. So does here. everybody. Every motorized vehicle. But we don't, they don't need new bikes. It's kind of it's a good Police point. have Very their current point. bikes. Bike shares have their current bikes. At $950 a unit, even significantly discounted, that's going to be a big hurdle to overcome. To me, there's three rules to a great product. Is it something that people need and want? Is it something that solves a problem, which clearly it does? Can it be made at an affordable price? You have number one, you have number two. Right now, you don't have number three. And for that reason, sadly, I'm out. I live in the Back Bay in Boston in a tiny brownstone with a tiny elevator. And that bike, the little one fits in it. Great. So I'm going to come over and buy one, but I think you need another couple of iterations to get the cost down. I think it has to go below 300. Guys, I'm a buyer of the small bike, but not the company. I'm out. Okay. You still have one shark left. I'm so intrigued by this little bike. I even named it already. I'd call it the bug. The bug? It just looks like a bug to me, you know? <laughs> um, I think it's going to be hard to sell this. I think the price is too high. I'd probably just buy myself an electric bike because I can't picture myself swapping. And I think I'm not going to be alone in that regard. So I'm going to join Kevin and buy one too. But I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, time. guys. Good luck with everything. Although we didn't strike a deal with the Sharks today, it's definitely not the end for Geo We're just getting rolling. That's <laughs> right.